also, there better be some gold here because um, I, I've been to this one before and it's actually, they have some decent titles and what I was saying uh, earlier was that because this is a little further out, uh, you're going to find the better titles because the rednecks obviously pick right over the good titles. Ah, thank you. Oh, nice and clear. So, we've got all teams for 50 cents a box. This one's going to be a little bit different. It's cleaner. I don't know about that, man. That floor is looking pretty gunky. In this door, we head to the left. Got a bunch of Wii games. Okay, here we go. Alright. Where'd you go, man? Put your boy, three dollars. They're packed in there tight. Mirror of the dog, 48 hours. Jackass number two. That's a good one that I paid full price for, twenty dollars back in the day. Oh, wow. Inconvenient truth. And those are in the slim pack, right? They are. The, the so green friendly yeah. slim pack. Yeah, we're doing our part here, as they put it in plastic wrap. Completely counterproductive. Got a problem, because I have this big stack, you know, what we call a, a, a haul from Big Lots. And um, I've got to go through and pare this down, because obviously I'm not going to get all these. We've got Urban Cowboy and the I Love the 80s. Uh, release. Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I'm definitely getting this. This is one of my favorite movies. Um, Chinatown. Special special collector's edition for $3. And I think you said that's not out on Blu-ray. I don't believe it is, no. So I'm probably going to get that. Terms of Endearment. Uh, classic 80s movie. I'm unsure about that. Bad News Bears. Unsure about that. An officer and gentleman, yeah, I'm kind of in the middle on that. Snowboard Academy, I just wanted to point out, you know, Corey Haim classic with Jim Varney. Or Chaim, as, uh, as Robert, Robert Osborne, Osborne pronounces yeah. it. Chaim. Um, I don't know, what do you think? you think I should get this just because? I, I don't Academy? think you'll ever watch it. Yes, I will, because I watched Busted just the other day. Yeah, that's got some comedy. Yeah, the, the, and you're the, talking about how much you, you love. Um, you've got you've got two out of the three people on the cover that are dead. So yeah, I think yeah that that's a that's a keeper. Why don't we you, haven't seen that Why don't anywhere you make else. it a keeper? That's more up your alley. No, I'll no, get, no, it's I'll, not I'll, because you love Bikini Bandits and you know. Yeah, but that was that was self-aware. That okay that was, was what about um, National Lampoon's Last Resort? That's just kind of the same way. That's just sad funny. So, yeah, I can't, all right. can't and then do that one. This, I'm really torn because it's, it's got all three of the Naked Gun movies on it, and it's $10, so... Yeah. You know, I don't know. I, I need some help with this. I don't know. That's, we'll that's see what we end up with, then. All right. Okay, so we went to... We're in the... We just came out of the big lots in Malden after driving all around the upstate and getting lost. Uh, I ended up with uh, with Chinatown and uh, Jimmy Carter, Man from the Plains, also in the very thin packaging, which is nice. Doesn't take up a lot of room. Jonathan Demi flick, so yeah. Okay, and I did get uh, an officer and a gentleman, and that's the uh, special collector's edition uh, DVD. And also, I picked up one of my favorite movies, uh, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Um, Richard Burton and um, Elizabeth Taylor. She was only on like her fifth husband at that point, I think. So. Yeah, she was still she was in the milf stage, I think. Milf stage. It, latter latter yeah. end, just passing the spring chicken, but not quite to yeah, the teaser stage. Yeah, getting getting a little plump. Yeah. All right, General Malay's here, Private Joker. We just got back from our dual run to uh, Big Lots both in Malden and Greenville. Yep. With the advent of, of Blu-ray and Netflix instant streaming, you, you've really seen a big decrease in demand for, for DVD. So, 
you can pick up a lot of good titles dirt cheap. And even though I personally would prefer to have everything on Blu-ray, and I'm, I'm really trying to not buy very many standard definition DVDs, at these prices, it's kind of hard to pass it up. You can't even rent for this for this price. Yeah, I agree. I mean, uh, some of the stuff, like if I had known that Payback was on Blu-ray, I probably would have waited. That being said, $5, I'm not disappointed. Um, you know, this Warner Brother documentary is never going to see the light of Blu-ray. That may even be out of print, actually. It probably is. Uh... Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And that, I might have wanted to check on that one. And an officer and a gentleman I might have wanted to check. Generally, though, I, you know, when a Blu-ray is initially released, I don't, I don't go for it unless it's something I have to have because I'm going to wait for those prices to drop. I don't want to pay $30 hmm. when you can get something that's previously viewed or you can just find a good deal like on uh, Black Friday or something. You know, I, I, I'm usually going to be patient and wait for the good deals on the Blu-rays. Um, I don't know. If, I mean, that's how I operate. Yeah, I kind of alternate. But I think uh, for our next episode, that's where we're going to go is the, the spots to get the good deals on the Blu-rays. On the Blu-rays. Yeah, next time we're going to focus on Blu-rays and not so much on standard definition DVDs. So... Join us next time, and we will take you to a few obscure spots and maybe one or two not-so-obscure spots here in the upstate and maybe even North Carolina. We'll here see. on Carolina. No, Kakalaki Movie, Movie Madness. Madness.